All right. Afternoon, everybody. Um, just getting done pouring a bunch of baits here. I um, kind of don't know. That's why they're just piled up here. But uh, I want to show them off a little bit. Um, I've got to the point now where I don't think I'm going to be buying any more baits for the rest of the year. I think I've got plenty of baits I can pour. Uh, plenty of molds to use. And I want to just kind of show them off. I picked baits that look a little different than other baits. Now, everybody has a, uh, you know, a brush hog. Everybody has a, uh, um, yeah, a D-bomb. Everybody has a Cinco mold. Y you, you can have all those. That's that's fine. But lots of times when I'm fishing, I realize that uh, by everybody using those lures that they've seen the Cinco's out there. I get out behind guys and I watch them. They're all, there's three guys ahead of me walking the shoreline and they're throwing Cinco's. So I got to kind of think outside the box. So I went with a with a company that makes uh, molds, that uh, makes some oddball looking molds, but they work and they work pretty well. I've had really good success with them. First one I'm gonna show off here is this one here. It's a flapper style bait. Let me get it set up here so I can show you the three ways I've cut it. All right, it looks like this originally. When you pour it, it comes out with this square tail on it here. Um, you can cut it down, which is what I've done. That becomes my three inch drop shot here. That's that here. This is now my three inch drop shot. I put that on the, uh, on a drop shot, you know, on a really small, uh, jig head. I mean, you know, like a 132 ounce and it does really well. The other way I do it is I take that flap and I cut it down as well here. So now it becomes almost like you can use a trailer, another drop shot, but it's got tentacles on it and it works out really good. As you can see, I poured a couple different colors. I like them dark, I like natural colors, the greens, things like that, and the dark blues. So th that's one that I do there, and I, I don't know what it's called. I call it the flapper. It looks like a flap. Um, it's my one of my finesse drop shot baits. So that's what I use there. I throw that on um, little jig heads. I throw it on uh, wacky rigged heads. Um, I will throw it on a drop shot, like I said. Um, I will throw them, I'll put them just a hook through the nose of it, and I will also throw it out there and kind of just twitch it a little bit to try and get on really light light lures. It, it works out really well. When the bass are finicky, they will eat that. The next thing I do is called, a, I think it's called a Critter X, is this one here. And that's, actually, there's two stuck together. Um, it's kind of a, a craw um, footing here. Two flaps, uh, straight body. But uh, it, it actually works out pretty well. It uh, doesn't have a lot of kick to it, but it works great as a trailer. It works great uh, Texas rigged. Works great on the jig head. I use it on Arky heads, on the Arky jig heads from uh, Walmart. It works out perfectly for. And uh, it, it's actually a good bait. So uh, that's the second one I do. So that's the next one up. If you're looking for more of a creature bait, that, that is my next creature bait. Um, after that, let me move these out the way a little bit. I have a craw. Now I have two craws. This is actually the big craw. I have a smaller craw as well. You're not gonna see all my baits today. This is just the ones I poured today. I poured 75 baits today. This is my four inch craw. Uh, it's a do nothing craw. I don't have craw duds in my lakes here. And for me, it's just a, it's a creature bait. It's like a, a D bomb, you know, it's got just two flaps on it and that's it. Uh, it stands up on a jig, Texas rigged. I punch it through the, uh, lily pads at my local lake it works out really good that way um now i'm, I'm kind of getting out of the finesse like i said and into the into the big bass baits that's that there next i pour is i didn't uh where is it <clears throat> oh here we go this now is my stinger x this here is just a straight paddle tail lure and you go oh well that's kind of boring looking but it catches fish it's another one on a jig head you can fish in texas uh I think it's a three and a half inch, no more than four inch bait. Um, we cut them, like we'll slice them right up here all the way back, and it makes a fork tail, which drives them crazy. Or you can cut it at an angle here. I actually take a hole punch, punch a hole in the middle with it with a hole punch, you know, like your school hole punch, and I slice it here, and it creates a paddle tail out of it. So it's a really, almost like uh, the ridge tails that uh, have that really funny paddle tail on it. Works out well. Displaces a lot of water because of the ribs on them. It's one thing I like about all these baits is that they do have the ribs on them. They displace a lot of water. So anyway, that's my Stinger Racks. All these are available online. You can get them all through uh, Amazon. So they're easy to get, cheap. 
Um, here's one of my creature baits here. It's a smaller one. This is like your, you know, like your small D-bomb. Not your D-bomb. I don't know what it would be, actually. But it's a small creature bait. It's uh, It works out pretty good. It's gotten me one of my bigger bass here last year. I fished it in a purple. I had a Texas rigged. Um, you can uh, crawl these across the bottom. You can hop them. They work really well. Skip them. Uh, paired with the right hook and weight. It's, it's a really good creature bait. Next creature bait I have is kind of almost like the baby brush hog, but it's it's a stick bait. Now you gotta excuse me, I haven't cleaned them up real good, but this one here got me a lot of baits. Uh, bass, it drags through really the water really well. Very small, small creature bait. Uh, works really well. It's a great bait. So there you go there. Those are all my kind of my oddball ones. Oh wait, no, not done yet. Then I have what I use for my Ned rig, which is this right here. It's almost like a French fry, crinkle cut. Uh, three inch fishing on a Ned rig head light, you know jig head. It will kill them. I'm telling you it uh, it works out really well um, Different look to it. It's not your typical, you know your uh, your Z-Man uh, TRD so it just gives it like a little different of a look it displaces water a little differently with these uh, ribs on it They're all flat on the other side their hand pours. So these are all custom poured by me That's another one I do there. Then I have I've made my own grubs, and this is a 3-inch grub here, and I'll show it off to you. Nothing fancy, uh, really just a cut-off Cinco with a tail on it is really what it is, and that's what it is. I made it myself, added the tail to it, um, and it works out it's perfectly for a jig head. Again, um, as a trailer, I can throw it on the back of a spinnerbait, and it works really well that way, too. Um, it's, just, it's a really good... Um, grub for me it spins really well as well and then i have my very own little tiny cigos three inch cinco's that's right little tiny dudes these are my finesse bass candies when they don't want to eat anything else i wacky rig these i will throw these uh on a jig head i will hook them to the nose uh they are drop shot candies they tear these things up so i love them things so that's another one I do. That's a little three inch Cinco I do. Very small. Do I have any others to show off here that I haven't showed you? Um, I have some oddballs I pour. This here is, uh, I, I wanna say this is a cream worm. I copied, and I hate to say I copied the cream, but cream makes used to make one of the best. Well, they still do actually. I don't know why I say it used to, but when I'm looking for you know to to refill my things, I've yeah, it actually says cream on there too. Look from where I poured it, I poured it myself. It's a six inch cream scrounger, uh, scoundrel worm, scoundrel, I think it's called. They, they make a, if you can get their baits, buy them. I don't, I live down here at the Jersey Shore. It's hard for me to get baits, I have to order everything online. So, I've made some really quick worm molds that I, I just pour my old plastics in. And, and I don't call this, I don't sell these, so I'm not selling these to copy them. I, I really, it really is a, I think, the sincerest form of flattery. Um, I love these, uh, their worms. So, if I can make a worm to fish, that's it for me. That's the straight tail there. Uh, the other one's the Zoom Trick Worm, which is a little bit bigger. Um, there you go there I've copied it for for a little bit bigger of a worm and anything else here that I've copied um, I made kind of a funky one now this one here it's got some of the mold still on it so it is it's a double ended basically it's a it's a two ends of a worm put together but it's it's my version of a wacky rig worm rig it in the middle it flops down on the on the ends here does a really good job of it and then last but not least, do I have anything else to show off? No, that's going to be it. But anyway, I want to just kind of show off the baits I'm pouring for me. Um, these are pretty much what I'm fishing. I do have other molds as well. I have um, swim bait molds. I have, um, what haven't you guys seen? Um, I don't know, I got, some, I got two or three swim bait molds. Uh... Another craw you haven't seen. I have a little paddle tail you haven't seen, like a beaver tail. I have like an inch and a half inch beaver tail. And I have a couple big beaver tails as well. So my next pour, I'll show those off. But for now, that's what I got here. But yeah, let me pile them up here. So in, a, in an hour and a half's worth of time, I was able to pour these ones here. I got to fix. I got to boil them. Boil them, they'll straighten out. Um, in a, in a uh, 
an hour and a half I poured that many baits out of old plastics. <clears throat> That's what's great about this. These are all just old plastics I had sitting around. I had a, a little bit of dye tone to darken them up a little bit. Because uh, once you mix all the colors together, you know, your pumpkins, your greens, your light colors, it comes almost like a baby crap, like a baby crap yellow. You've ever seen the, the inside of a baby diaper, but... There you go. There's a bunch of baits I poured. It took me about an hour and a half, and it didn't cost me anything. And I got 75 baits. So you do the math and the time, and, and uh, you'll get the, the cost of it. But if you want to pour your own, it's an easy way to do it. Each of these molds uh, I bought, I didn't spend a ton of money on these molds. Most of them started out, like I think this one's on Amazon. You can get it for less than $7, two-day shipping. So you can get started out with you know $6 molds, single molds. And what I did is, as I poured these, six or seven of these and then I made a plaster of Paris mold so I can pour seven at a time so and I have two of those molds so I can pour 14 baits but anyway there you go let me know what you think if you do the same thing I'd like to see your baits these aren't very fancy these aren't ones for sale these are just mine that I use and it's the colors I use so they don't got to look that great but hey they do the job talk to you later